Hello everybody, this is a bit of a classic one today, a Lotus Turbo Challenge 2 for the Commodore Amiga. Ah. Although that's a Lotus Elan, I always think of the Esprit when I think of this game. Get loaded. Happy with those settings. Uh, it's a shame they don't make games like this anymore. Oh, I forgot to put it on manual gears. Steer left and right. Up, up, press up for going up gears. Down for lower gears. One button. No brakes, just let go of the accelerator. If you need to, I mean, you don't really need too much in these. No! Who's following me now? Yeah, well, only thing this is missing is like a bit of music during the stage because it's pretty quiet. But oh, I did enjoy playing this. It's just a shame. So there's only five gears in this car. As far as this kind of style of racing game goes this is not one of the hardest from what I remember log jump now, I'm pretty sure if you did that in real life you would not be jumping over bit of water. In fact, quite the opposite actually, I think he would be pretty much dead. Because of how small this car is, it's only tiny, it's only in the alarm. Traditional British car. Engine in the back, two seats. Funny, for a country that rains non-stop, pretty much, you know, we make a hell of a lot of two-door two -door sports cars. And there's not really much to this. I don't even think I have to lift off the accelerator to go around these corners. It does get a bit more complicated later on, obviously. Oh dear. Oh, now there's rocks in the road. Oh, 
don't get in my way. Pretty sure it's not always the lands though. I think some stages you do actually are in are in a lotus esprit. Oh, so I hit that side on and knocked me back. And across the line! Just made that. A few mistakes. The night cars. But, I think that's my little blast done on this. Not meant to last forever, but you know what? Still a good game after all these years. I quite enjoy it. Until next time, take care of them.